Hi, my name is Eric Velasquez, and I am the author illustrator of Looking for Banco, a story that I really, really enjoyed illustrating and writing, and I want to share it with you today. So for that, I am now going to share my screen in order to begin telling you a little bit about the story. So Looking for Bongo is loosely based on my life with my at home with my grandma and my parents. I had the great fortune of having what I considered three parents. And so it was a wonderful household. I had a dog and a cat. And so all of these things are reflected in the story. This is my first character design for the little boy in the story. And this is just done in my sketchbook with pencil. And this is the color version of that boy. And here's where I kind of knew what the boy in the story was going to look like. These are some of the other sketches that I did in my sketchbook of the characters. And then I had to create something called a turnaround. Because I was creating the character from my imagination, it was very important that I could know what the character looked like from different angles. So this is the color version of the turnaround. And before I start illustrating, I always do something called a storyboard. And in these rectangles, I pretty much tell the entire story and I figure out all what's called the compositions. And that's how all the elements are put together, the foreground, the backgrounds, and the, and, and the uh, middle grounds of the story. Where all everything is worked out before I even begin to draw everything out and then eventually paint it. So first um, comes the storyboard sketch, as you can see right here. And then based on that, I then will create a much larger drawing uh, using pencil on watercolor paper to create what's called the finished drawing. And then I paint on top of this. And that's how I create my illustrations. So without any further ado, looking for Bongo. Where's Bongo? I need Bongo to watch TV with me. I ask Wella, ¿Dónde está Bongo? Where is Bongo? She says, yo no sé, I don't know. I ask Gato, did you see Bongo? Gato says, meow, and he runs away. I ask Daisy, did you see Bongo? Daisy says, wolf, then she rolls over. I ask my dad, but he's running out of the door. He says he'll help me when he gets back but I need Bongo now. I try to ask my mom, but she is busy. She says, no le visto, búscalo. I have not seen it, look for it. The bell rings, and Wella opens the door, and it's a man with a box. Is Bongo in that box, I ask? He says, huh? And he walks away laughing. This box has the new curtains. Bongo's not in this box, Wella says. Bongo's lost forever, I say. But then I see a little brown arm. How did Bongo get there? I do not care. I am happy. I have Bongo. Wella, look, I found Bongo, I say. Good for you, she says. Next time, remember where you put him. But I do remember. He was with me in my bed. Tonight, I will hold on to Bongo so he won't run away again. So later that night, his mom reads to him a wonderful children's book. And the boy has cleverly tied a string to the end of his wrist and the other end to Bongo's wrist so that later, uh-oh, I wake up. It was you, as he discovers that it's his baby sister who's been stealing Bongo um, in the middle of the night because she wanted to cuddle up with him and she wanted to have him all to herself. I did give you a clue earlier in the story, and I'm hoping that you caught it, and it's the expression on his baby sister's face when the boy is asking his mom um, if she had seen Bongo. And that expression is known as the, the look of guilt.
in the back of the book, I explained that Wella was what I used to call my grandmother. It is derived from the word abuela, the Spanish word for grandmother. And I also explained that bongo are large African forest antelopes. And I also show, you, show bongo drums in the story. And they are a pair of small drums that are played with the hands. And bongo drums originated in Cuba. So I hope you all enjoyed my reading of Looking for Bongo. I had a lot of fun sharing it with you, and I hope to one day meet all of you. So take care.